Hi there, this is the famous World Champions Trap in the Rogozin variation of the Queen's Gambit Declines. Laska performed it in New York in 1922 against 10 year old child protege Sammy Wyshevsky. He may have learnt the idea though, seven years earlier, when world champion to be Capablanca failed to see it against the incumbent champion Laska himself. So after four moves we've entered into a queen's gambit declined and here white plays bishop g5 pinning the knight on f6 and black responds in kind with bishop b4 the Rogozin variation which is characterized by mutual bishop pins queen b3 is played by white hitting the bishop on b4 defended by c5 e3 and queen a5 interesting position here uh, bishop now to d3 is a big mistake and it's close to losing this is the move that capablanca failed to perform against lasca in 1915 but after bishop d3 it was young sammy Wyshevsky who suffered at the hands of lasca seven years later when lasca found the correct move should point out that there were trades first on f6 in the game Lasca against uh, Capablanca or Capablanca against Lasca but the position and the trap is still the same so it's black to play and black to win can you see the winning move here for black well it's actually b5 not immediately evident but that's a winning move it's threatening to take on c4 and that's going to fork the queen and the bishop and if white captures obviously on b5 then that's going to allow pawn to c4 with the same fork and the best white can do here is to retreat the queen let's say to c2 and allow a capture on c4 and white is in a bad position here close to losing i would say so this has been the world champion's trap in the Rogozin variation of the Queen's Gambit decline. Hope you found it useful. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.